Hello guys, welcome back to another video of SpaceX updates. In today's video, let's talk about what is happening at Starbase, the latest launch of SpaceX's M1 mission, the conclusion of the Artemis 1 mission, and Rocket Lab's updated launch date of its first mission from US soil. SpaceX is not in a hurry to conduct its first Starship orbital test flight this year. Crews continue to upgrade the orbital launch mount with more shielding and plumbing. Although a road closure schedule is posted for December 15, we don't expect a static fire on Booster 7 because SpaceX still has to pour new concrete under the orbital launch mount. Let's wait and see what happens next. The scaffolding around the Starship S24 has now disappeared. So, potentially, the road closures might be for testing on S24. After a long delay, SpaceX finally launched iSpace's Hakuto RM-1 lunar lander mission yesterday. A Falcon 9 rocket carrying the lunar lander and another rideshare NASA's payload, the lunar flashlight lifted off from SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida at 2.38 a.m. EST on early Sunday morning. The first stage booster supporting this mission was on its fifth flight. After stage separation, oh, for a fifth time, begun. it successfully landed at landing zone 2 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The shutdown of the second stage engine, but stage let's two. watch yes, as Falcon 9 touches down for landing with this incredible view here. Terminal orbit insertion. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Stage 1 landing confirmed. The mission is a 100% success for SpaceX following the deployment of both payloads onto their desired orbits. The lunar lander is now on its way to the moon and will attempt to touch down on the lunar surface in April next year. If successful, iSpace, which is a Japanese private aerospace company, will become the first private company to send a lander to the moon. As the M1 lander heads towards our nearest celestial neighbor, another spacecraft arrived on our home planet from the same destination. Yesterday, NASA concluded its flagship program, the Artemis 1 mission. Although the mission was already delayed by years from its initially intended plans, it was a huge success for NASA and its partners. The Orion spacecraft, after traveling around the moon for weeks, completing a journey of 1.4 million miles, splashed down in the Pacific Ocean yesterday, completing a 25 and a half days long mission. This was a big step towards the goal of sending humans back to the moon again. Artemis 2 will be a crewed mission flying around the moon, using the same Orion spacecraft before preparing to land the first humans back on the lunar surface on a Starship rocket somewhere around the end of 2020s. Before signing out, here is a quick update on Rocket Lab's next mission. The company's first attempt to launch from the US soil has been pushed back to December 15. The Electron rocket is already on the launch pad waiting for liftoff, with the weather still a watch item in the coming days. Well, that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.